Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon and the last couple weeks I have teamed up with Chelsea from Arispy Land and we've done a few collaborations. The first one was favorite uh, books for teen girls where we had our teenage girls join us to share their favorite books. The next one we did was favorite mom books. So just books that we have enjoyed. And this week um, I decided I wanted to do a favorite elementary aged kids books video. And Chelsea wanted to join me for that so we are getting together again doing another collaboration this week. Um, I will have a link for Chelsea's video down in my description box. So make sure you head over to her channel and watch her video and tell her that um, you came from my channel so that she knows where you came from. And then also I will have in the description box a link for as many books as I can find um, online on Amazon. If you're interested in purchasing any of them, I would love for you to use my link to do that. Um, and then I will receive a small commission at no extra charge to you. So this video, or this subject, was hard for me to pick my favorite books. I actually ended up just putting some back on the shelf and uh, keeping what I have here because my pile was getting huge. Because there's so many books on my shelf that I really enjoy and that my little kids really enjoy. I wanted to share all of them with you. So I kind of narrowed it down. I've got like a few chapter books, I've got some early reader books, I've got some theology books, I've got some character building books, I've got just some picture books. So I'm just going to show you all of these and try to give you a little overview maybe of what they are about and why I like them. And hopefully it is encouraging and helpful for you as Christmas is coming. The, some of these, a lot of these, all of them, because I like them, would be really good um, gifts for kids or grandkids or nieces or nephews or whoever you might have in this age range um, that you're purchasing gifts for. So I think I'm going to start with the chapter books and then I'm going to work my way around. Okay, um, I have read a lot of chapter books to my kids. A lot. And right now... The, the ones that we have that are favorites um, are what I'm going to show you. The kids that I have in elementary age are 5th grade, he's 11, he's almost 12. 4th grade, he's 9. 2nd grade, she is 8. I have a 1st grader who will be 7 this next month. A kindergartner who is 5. And then Carrington is 3 and Clayton is 2. Carrington's almost four. So those are the ages of the kids that I'm thinking of in this video. Um, so I'm going to share with you their favorite, some of their favorite things. The first thing is chapter books. These are the Magic Treehouse books. And my nine-year-old especially loves these. Really all of them do. We've gotten probably all of these that we have in paperback. We have gotten from the library in audio form and listened to them. But my um, nine year old right now, he is using these as his reading. He reads aloud to me. He finished the first one, which was the dinosaurs. I don't have it here with me. Dinosaurs at dark or something like that. And um, now he's reading the next one, which is Nights at Dawn. So what I like about these books is that they're all historical and they teach how people lived and the events that actually happened through a story. So Civil War on Sunday, this one is based in the Civil War era time period. They, she tells the story of the Civil War through these two little kids as they travel back in time and um, just things that went on and stuff like that. <coughs> wow. 
Another one of these that we've read out loud was the Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. I think it's called Abe at Last. Um, that one was fun. We did an Abraham Lincoln unit study and we read that and it just gave us kind of a glimpse of how Abraham Lincoln behaved and what kind of things he did and what he thought, things he said based off of true stories. They do have with some of these, um, like the Abe Lincoln at Last one, they have a fact, fact checker which is another book that they put out that is full of facts about Abe Lincoln so the kids can go through there and find even more information out about him if they're interested in doing that. So I do have a couple, a couple of those. Besides the Magic Treehouse books, I don't know how many there are, but there are a lot. They also have um, Merlin's Missions, I think, and those are like a special side series. <coughs> We talk about different countries, legends, and myths. Yeah, they talk about, the Merlin's missions talk about different countries and their legends and myths that they have in those countries. So, um, these are educational books and my kids love them and really enjoy reading them or listening to them. Some other chapter books that my kids enjoy are these. These are the Adventures of Books. These are by Thornton Burgess, and these are old books. They were written several years ago. I don't know, let's see. Back in the 1920s, I believe. I don't know, that's when this one was written, and I imagine the rest of them are the same. But these are the stories of these animals. So this one is Patty the Beaver, and they're all connected, and they all live together in the woods and they just tell their stories and you learn about the behavior of the animals, the things that they did, how they interacted with one another, that kind of stuff. So my kids love these. We've read a couple of them and they really enjoy these too. And these are wholesome, good, good books, um, entertaining books that the kids enjoy. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna go to, I think, is a couple of early readers, um, little kid books. These ones are called the Little Lights books, and I actually have, there's one more, so there's eight of them. These are one through seven here. There's eight of them, and they are missionary stories for younger kids. So we have Amy Carmichael, Corey Ten Boom, Helen Rosevier, George Mueller, Hudson Taylor, David Livingstone, John Calvin, and I think the last one's Gladys Aylward, but I'm not sure. Um, it's in my, on my daughter's bed. So these are fun because they tell the story of, or a story from these missionaries. And this one's Amy Carmichael. And on each page, you can see, this side has more reading to it for the parent to read. And then this side has it summarized in just a couple sentences for early readers to read. So it's a fun book to read back and forth. I have found that um, with my last couple of kids, like with Crispin reading the Magic Treehouse books, these ones, he will read a couple pages and then I read a page and then he'll read a couple pages and I'll read a page. And that just helps them and encourages them to keep going and it keeps them interested in the story so hard and so much work for them to just read and then the comprehension is hard because they're focusing so much on single words trying to figure them out so whenever you read with them it helps them to enjoy the story more so these are fun because they get to read part and you read part and they get to understand the story and be involved and get practice of reading so those are fun again these are called little lights and um, they're good good for early readers. Some other ones I have are called Big Thoughts for Little Thinkers. These are from Master Books. This is the Trinity. This one is the Scriptures. This one is the Mission. And the last one is the Gospel. So my kids like these, they like looking through them. I find my little kids often that don't know how to read, they sit and just read these books to themselves even though they don't know how to read. But you can hear them talking while they read, they pretend like they're reading them or they read them to one another. So these are really good for little kids. They have illustrations and they help them to understand some fundamentals of the faith. 
Um, and they are from Master Books. So those are really good. Okay, my next books are character building, kind of. Yeah, I would say character building. Um, and then one, there's one historical, well, two historical books in here. And the rest are character building books. So the first ones that my kids have really enjoyed are called these little God's Wisdom for Little Girls and God's Wisdom for Little Boys. And these are fun because they go through the Proverbs and they help the kids to see um, character qualities that they should be exhibiting and the wisdom that God gives through his word in ways that they can behave and act and treat others. The pictures are beautiful illustrations and they're so cute and fun. This one's kind of falling apart. So I just want to read you a little, a little snippet out of this one. This is by Elizabeth George, and the boy one is by Jim and Elizabeth George. So this says, God's little girl is kind. Being good to others is so hard to do, but this is exactly what God asks of you. So do what you can to be kind to others, and that includes your sisters and brothers. And that comes from Proverbs 31:11. It says, her husband trusts her completely. With her, he has everything he needs. She does him good and not harm for as long as she lives. And there's the picture that goes along with that. A little girl doing her sister's hair. Super cute. So these are really cute. And then the boy one is the same. It has um, sweet pictures with it. God's little boy is wise. Do you want to grow up and be a wise man? Do you want to be smart? God says you can. Just seek out God's truth throughout your days and you'll be wise as you follow his ways. So these are really good character building stories for um, younger kids. And my kids like them with the rhyming and everything that, in the pictures and everything. Okay, next one is The Princess and the Kiss by Jenny Bishop. This is a book about purity saving your first kiss for your husband and a godly marriage. And my kids all like this. You can tell it's well loved. It's falling apart. There's another one, the squire and the scroll, I think. And it's more of a, a boy's point of view of marriage and um, taking care of your queen and working hard to do that. Um, so that one is good too. This one is called Halfway Herbert. It is by Francis Chan. And I don't recommend Francis Chan's other stuff lately that he's done, but this book is cute. It talks about working with our whole hearts to serve the Lord in everything that we do. And we use the term Halfway Herbert often in our house to encourage one another to continue to work hard and complete jobs that need to be done. So this is another good one for sharing with your kids. Okay, the next one I have is also from Master Books. This is called Life in the Great Ice Age. This book has a lot of words in it. I will show you a page. I actually, this is a brand new copy. Uh, our other copy was so loved that it fell apart. There are remnants of it in the basement still. Someone had it down there, they were looking at it. I need to gather up all the pages and stick them back in there together. This is a brand new copy I got on flash sale. And you can see there's a lot of words on each page, but we have read through this book a couple times and the boys, even the girls love looking at this book because of the pictures from the ice age. It tells all about the people that lived during the ice age and the animals and how it happened and what they did and everything. So it's, it is a fun, fun living book um, because it is a story based off of this boy and his family and how they travel and what they do after or during the ice age. So this is a really fun one too. The last one I have is one that my husband got at the Shepherds Conference several years ago and we read through it as a family. Um, we did it right away when he got it. I don't know if we read through it again since then. We need to because we have lots more little kids. But this is called The Church History ABCs. This is by Stephen Nicola Nichols and Ned 
Bustard. So this takes you through 25 Heroes of the Faith um, from church history. And it tells you what they, what they did, why they're Heroes of the Faith, their names, and it just goes in alphabetical order. P is for Patrick. P is for Pirates, Potatoes, and Patrick, patron saint of Ireland. So this, this page tells you about St. Patrick. Q is for Quilt, Quail, and Queen Jean. So, tells you all about these heroes of the faith. This is a fun one, too. Alright, my last stack is some picture books. This stack was huge when I was picking out books. <laughs> I think I had probably almost every single one off of that one shelf right there. Um, but I narrowed it down to ones that we have read lots of times and the kids enjoy. Um, so, and, and they came up when I was doing this and all of them were like, oh, I like this one, I like this one, I like this one, I like this one. So these are all goodies that I picked here that they enjoy. Um, I forgot this one, another one. This is Buddy Davis's Cool Critters of the Ice Age. This is also from Masterbooks. And we have read this one a couple times and the kids look through it all the time. And it goes through different critters of the Ice Age and tells you all about them and compares them to a man and tells you how big they were and any special things about them that you need to know. Um, this one was fun when we read it before. This is an Irish elk and actually when we were reading this book we hadn't even finished it yet and I saw an article online that said that they had found an Irish elk skull in the bottom of a fishing pond. It was only about 20 feet down and they pulled it out and it was this huge set of antlers. So that was fun because we knew what that was because we had just read about it in this book. So this is another one, Buddy Davis's Cool Critters of the Ice Age from Master Books. Okay, picture books. First one is Katie No Pocket. This is about a kangaroo who doesn't have a pocket and she needs one so she goes to find one. And the kids love it and I've read it several times to them. <clears throat> and this is by Emmy Payne. Okay, the next one is we're going on a bear hunt. So we've read this book a lot. We found the video on Amazon videos, watched it, and several of the kids were in tears bawling because the video is not the same as the book. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. They were all crying. It has a different ending and they were all upset. So. I don't recommend watching the video because all, it made my kids very upset. <laughs> but this is another good one that my kids like about this little family and they go on a bear hunt. Another one I've mentioned before that um, is one of our favorite books is Caps for Sale about this man who sells caps and the monkey steal his caps and he has to get them back. So that's a cute one too. Another one is Blueberries for Sal, about this little boy and he goes with his mom and they pick blueberries and uh, the bears are picking blueberries at the same time. So um, yeah, that's what this one's about. And the last one is Jesse Bear, What Will You Wear? And this one is fun because it rhymes and the little kids love it. I've read it over and over and over. Lots and lots of times. And this one actually I found on thrift books, I think. And maybe I got it on used on Amazon. I'm not sure, but it has a library binding, which is really nice because it doesn't wear out nearly as fast as the paperbacks do. Um, but I got this one used somewhere and it has, yeah, Kaylee liked this book when she was little. I had a different copy of it though that got ruined because we had read it so much. So this one I found has the library binding on it. So it holds together better. That is my pile of elementary aged children's favorite books um, that my kids enjoy. I'm sure there are a lot more over there. Actually, I know there are a lot more over there that they really like, but um, these were the favorite ones that I picked. <clears throat> Make sure that you check the description box for links to any of these if you're interested in purchasing them. Um, and then also make sure you go check out Chelsea's 
book recommendations. She told me that she's having a hard time picking out books for this also. I had texted her and said, my list is, my pile is getting quite big. And, and she said, yeah, I don't even know where to start because I love all of them. So I'm sure she's going to have a lot of good ones on her video too. So make sure you go check that out. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Bye.